Day's been going good so far. Got a nice overcast day, not too hot, not too cold. I'm heading up and down the staircase, getting my steps in for the day. Managed to make everything fit in here so far, a little bit of maneuvering. Uh, it's been a good process so far. Got more room than we thought in here. This is probably the most organized move in I've ever seen. And this is my third presidency, and I've been in higher education more than 30 years. So I think this is like incredible. There's a lot of staff to direct us where we needed to be, very welcoming. So uh, no shortage of people to point us in the right direction. So easy, so friendly. Everybody treats this as a home, and we are so excited to move in today. We have a lot of stuff. I think we're going to be taking some things home back to Milwaukee. He probably has enough stuff to last the full four years, but we'll see. He might not even unpack some of the stuff this semester. As a freshman, I'm very excited, kind of nervous. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to meet everybody, but it's going to be a packed day. Going to just try a bunch of new things this year, get involved. But It's, it's going to be a fun couple of days to ease into the first year. A lot of different emotions. I, um, my husband and I are so excited and so, so proud of her. Uh, for getting to this point. It's gonna be bittersweet, but we're close and we know she's in a really great place. Excitement, nervousness, tears, which I understand having three sons myself, you know, no matter how old they get, it's always hard when you see them dealing with one of these major life milestones. Boy, it uh, pulls at your heartstrings for sure. Uh, so from multiple levels, one, I did the MBA program here recently. My wife's an undergrad as well. So from that perspective, it's neat to see Alex pick up where, where we left off. Uh, but then he's also our oldest and the first one to leave the nest. So, uh, you know, it's tough. So we'll, uh, but we'll be close, but hopefully not too close. Got to try to give him some space, but it's pretty tough with the uh, number four ranked uh, cafeteria over here. I might just have to stop in from time to time to check on them. I really like the aspect of it being close to home and also having like the family part too. Um, it makes me feel closer to home just knowing that family has gone here and I like that part so yeah and it's beautiful here. <laughs> it's a small a small school for us which was um, which was number one on our list. Um, everybody all of the staff has been so welcoming and makes you feel like you're the one and only person, um, one and only student here. So we are just thrilled that St. Norbert also is a Catholic college and that Izzy will have places and times and opportunities to continue her faith. I shadowed a class here in about February. It was just um, Professor Haynes' accounting class. Had a little chat with the accounting professors. Liked the class a lot, liked teachers a lot. I like the campus here more than that kind of urban hustle bustle. So I think that's why I trust St. Norbert. The tour that we took was so thorough and welcoming and we just felt like this was a really good fit for our daughter. One of the great things about this college is the first to second year retention rate is the highest I think of any institution I've ever served and I think that is a true testament to how our faculty and staff get to know each student and helps, helps them through those challenges. I'm really excited to do like a service trip study abroad and just I love school so I love learning I love you know writing and doing all that and I'm just really excited to do school too so yeah. Just excited to see how he grows over the next four years and you know hopefully we see him once in a while. Mm -hmm.